We are glad you are here. We are joined by Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Eat Bar in Barracks Row, as well as the two Rusticos, one in Alexandria, the other in Boston. Greg, it is always a pleasure to see you. You as well. This looks nice. What's on tap this week? Well, this week we're going back to your roots with a Seattle beer. Um, I know, I got the wrong jersey on, <laughs> but you know, the, the Nationals are doing a little better than the Mariners, but the yeah. Mariners are going to come back. The, uh, this is a beer from Holy Mountain, a uh, newer brewery out in Seattle, Washington, and a very exciting one. They started in 2014. Adam Pace, Colin Lefesti, and Mike Murphy started this uh, wonderful little brewery. They've been making waves um, in, the in the beer community, the craft geek community, and now we can get some in wow. D.C., which is fantastic. So this is one of their, they make a lot of different kinds of beers, lots of uh, funky saisons like this one, lots of oak barrel aging, um, really cool things. They even make some lagers. What they don't make are year-round IPAs, which is kind of interesting for the Pacific Northwest. That seems to be the bread and butter out there. So they're kind of offering a refreshing alternative. Cool. And the Goat is a beer that they've made a number of times. And I wouldn't call it a flagship, but it's one that you'll see around. It's uh, a really great uh, introduction wow. to what they're all about. It's a nice, really light, pale straw color. Mm. That's a nice dry, drier nose, right? Oh, that's nice. Oh, dry that's in the really, finish. Oh, yeah. Wow. A little bit of acidity. It's got um, nice. a great, we call this mixed fermentation, mixed culture. So you've got some uh, typical yeast that's used to create saisons, ale yeast, farmhouse yeast. Uh, you've got some strains of uh, Britannomyces, which dries the beer out and gives it some of that funky aromatic, the wild rustic quality, and even a little bit of lactobacillus bacteria to give it just a, a nice lilting, uh, vibrant acidity on the palate. And you say they make they make all ranges of, of, of beers, but not a lot of IPAs. Yeah, they so don't. Yeah, so they make they make hop forward beers that aren't like IPAs, but they'll make farmhouse ales that have great hops. They'll make lagers. Uh, a lot of their beers are fermented and or aged in oak barrels or oak fooders, those big, huge uh, okay. oak barrels. So a lot of farmhouse sales mostly uh, being created out there. We've said this a lot with a number of beers we've done over the years, but I mean, it's just a great introduction to slightly, slightly sour, slightly tart beers. If you're, if you're looking to get into something a little different, it's, it's, it's Bone not Bone dry. It's, yeah, very yeah. dry. It's not, but it, it's just such a great balance. What does this ring in at? 4.7%. Oh my goodness. So really, really light and drinkable. It's, a, it's very um, <laughs> reminiscent of a lot of the beers that Jester King makes, actually. Uh, mixed use fermentation, little acidity and low alcohol, sessionable beers that are great year round, but particularly in the heat of the summer. Fabulous, what would you pair this with? This to me is a, just the, the quintessential kind of seafood beer. You know, um, a little bit of acid's gonna balance against brine, so you could do this with some brinier oysters, um, that hints of, of, of funk and richness on the palate lends it to like um, some fish dishes, grilled trout, things like that. Um, great with shrimp and scallops and, and clams and, 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 and crabs, I mean, you name it. I just love this with, with seafood. Greg, thank you as thank always. You. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.